What's going on guys and welcome back to Civilization 5. In what I believe was the last part, we started working on the World's Fair. And the part before that, we actually took most of Boudica's cities, all that she has left now is Cardiff, right there. And that's really all that she has, because it's her capital and you can tell that she really doesn't have anything else. Uh, I'm not exerting any pressure there. That's not good, I would like more religious pressure. Anyway, um, what are we doing? So like I said, we're still working on the World's Fair, it's not complete yet, and I would like to be the, um, the highest contributor, because that would give me a lot of extra culture, which is always good. And aside from that, most of my units, or at least a lot of them, uh, died in the war that we fought for Edinburgh and Dublin. So I would like to actually make some more units and sort of scatter them around my continent and my, my cities. Um, because I just took a look at the demographics and we're a bit low on the uh, the soldier end. We are about average. And the Huns have almost double the amount of soldiers that I have. So that's not good. We should really try and uh, get that up. Also my... Uh, wow, my approval is 90% but it's still very low. I guess most people have... You know, 97 to 100, so let's uh, work on that. Uh, also, I want to make a work of art, but I can't right now, so maybe after the World's Fair is over, I can make... Oxford University is any a company? I don't really know, I should probably be able to make something. But I guess uh, we will see. Uh, although I would also like to have to East India Company to get some extra money, but uh, I guess we'll see. Let's just go in the next turn and, and see what happens next. Uh, we actually dealt with our little happiness problem by making a lot of Colosseums, or Colossia, I guess. Uh, a bunch of zoos, we made the Circus Maximus. Works for me, buddy. Works for me. Uh, most people didn't really seem to mind that I, um... How much money do you have? Let's, keep, let's make it six, dude. Let's just make it like a fair deal here. Five, fine. That's a good deal. I knew you would take that. So a lot of people are still actually pretty friendly with me, which I'm happy about. The only ones that seem really scared are Bismarck is guarded, and then Budika obviously hates me because I stole all her shit. Uh, the Huns are neutral. Genghis Khan friendly, although I don't trust him. Uh, Maria Theresa is um, neutral, but she doesn't really go to war that much. Uh, Dundalo is friendly, although everybody disliked my proposal pretty much to the World Congress because I said, hey, let's make my religion the world religion. So, probably not the best uh, choice to make there, but had to be done. Uh, now let's focus on food in Dublin because it's still quite small. Let's make sure that they actually make the aqueduct before they grow. Oh, come on. Set it to avoid growth, I guess, for now. Um... World's Fair. We're really working on it in most cities. Uh, that's really the dealio that we're that we're doing here. Uh, next turn. We should be getting pretty close to completion soon, and I really hope that we can actually uh, get you know to be the highest contributor, because that is awesome. If you really get that, I don't know how much percent I really contribute to it, but. I have a good feeling about it. I am well uh, above the groundbreaking invention tier that gives you a uh, free social policy. So it's going to be pretty sweet. And then also, um, I almost have enough culture to get a free social policy, uh, you know, by myself. So it's all good. Also, cargo ship, go trade with Rome, obviously. Holy shit, that's a lot of money. Let's do that. Thank you. Uh, what else? Cities are about to grow. Jakarta as it can actually grow. Serbia is gonna grow. Makassar is gonna grow. And then Dublin is the only one that's really, you know, where I'm avoiding growth. So in one turn, holy shit, three of our cities are going to go up. It's gonna be a big boost in popularity, or I mean population. Uh, but it will cost me a lot of happiness as well. So I'm not really psyched about that. We should really get some more wonders that will give me happiness. Come on. World's fair. Give me it. And then also, like I said, I want to make some more military units because Rome is right next to me. And even though they're friendly and I'm pretty sure we have this friendship going, um, they dislike my proposal. That Obviously, that's not a good thing. Um, so I don't exactly trust them and I do have a feeling like they might try to murder me. Uh, so there's that. 
Edinburgh, Serbia. It's going to take a while for these to grow, which is good. Economics. We really have to figure out a way to get more happiness, though. Although we are building a zoo, you know, that's good. I think in a turn or two, three, the World's Fair should be completed. And I have a good feeling towards it. I think that we might be the top contributor. Oh, shit. The Rat 4 has been completed. I was going to make that. Oh well, new research agreement between Venice and the Songhai. We should probably get our own trade agreement with them. Ur and Songhai no longer allies, can no longer construct a red fort for Yerevan. I was actually going to make it, but I guess I will no longer have the opportunity to do that. Free social policy. Plus one gold from a science building or sci great scientists are earned faster. I actually kind of like those. Um... Garrison units, free culture building. I would also like to get to this one because it's going to give me a lot of happiness. So let's go with this one for now. may not be the best cho uh, choice, but I will just go for it. Uh, let's take a look at our tree. Architecture industrialization. We'll go as cool. Uh, factories, which are awesome. The Gatling gun. And we can get the rifleman if we go for rifling, which is pretty great. So let's go for... Uh, okay, I think industrialization would be the better choice here because it's going to give us coal uh, and factories and Gatling guns. So it's a bit of everything. Well, rifling only gives me one military unit. So industrialization it is. Uh, anything else? Still not done. I think the zoo should be complete soon in two more turns. That's good because we desperately need it. Who are you training with? She's still training with me, even though I almost killed her, pretty much. I mean, that's interesting right there. Taj Mahal has been completed. Good for you, Caesar. Because that's going to give him a golden age. Not that it really matters to me, I think. Panama City seeks protection, because the, the Huns suck. Okay. Research agreement with Caesar's complete. Caesar's plotting against Boudica. Let's actually not tell her about that because I hate her. And she is uh, a pain. She needs to go away. And I think that if I click next turn, it's going to actually finish the zoo that I was waiting for. And the World's Fair should be completed. So let's see how that plays out. And then we can finally start some production again. Very well. I'm definitely not going to tell you anymore now. Enjoy death by Caesar. You are not getting anything for me anymore. Caesar? Oh, wait. Research agreement? I like the sound of that. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's do it, buddy. I have the money. And the extra shines is definitely going to be big help. So, I'm going to go for it. Oh, here we go. It's almost done. 932 production. And I am the top contributor, but it was very close. So that's awesome. We are slightly above Maria Theresa, which basically means that she uh, wasted a whole bunch of production towards winning this when she didn't. So I get a whole bunch of extra culture, I get a fr uh, free social policy, and um, points towards a golden age. Defensive pact with Caesars ended, that's not good. Let's pick this one, get a little bit of gold, a little bit of happiness. All good, and that's actually not a little bit of happiness, that is a pretty good amount of it. Um, they don't have an aqueduct yet, so let's have them make that first, I guess. Um, what should we make? I really want to make the Oxford University or the, uh, the East India Company, but we need markets everywhere and we need universities everywhere. How much is a university to purchase? 660. Which one's bigger? Makassar? Yeah, okay, so let's purchase one in Makassar. And then after, we are going to build one in Dublin. And instead, go make a constabulary, seeing as we are now very uh, big in terms of um, technology. Obviously, we don't want other people stealing that stuff, so let's just do go with this then. Um, Opera House should allow us to make music, constabulary, bank. I don't think there's really anything that should allow me to make a... Um, uh, let's just go with some uh, some units up in here. I feel like a... I wish I could make... Let's go with a musket man. Always a pretty safe choice. Uh, in Madan, they can really go for... They probably don't have... Oh, they actually do have an aqueduct, so... There's that. They are pretty secluded, so going with a castle feels like a good idea. Let's do it. 
Let's make it a little bit safer there. Makassar is okay. So let's give them a, an aqueduct. Uh, let's start with a granary because it's going to take them forever. Oh, wait. Food focus. Yeah, that's kind of a difference though. Um, yeah, we can still make a, a granary and then after we can make an aqueduct. So that should be fine. Although we should probably do this first. Anything else? Still cannot use you, buddy. That sucks. I guess we're just going to have to wait this one out and see what happens. And basically just wait for industrialization. And until I have enough money to really buy a university in Dublin, after which I can make Oxford University, which should give me another boost towards technology. If someone just doesn't steal it, which I don't understand that that doesn't happen, hasn't happened yet, because it's an awesome wonder. I'm pretty sure it's one of my favorites. Askia has entered the industrial age, or era I mean, that's good for you. Allied with Ur. Okay, again, good for you, don't really care. Oh shit, Caesar overtook me. We are now on par with uh, Maria Theresa and Askia. And then Ashurbanipal, Saki, and Budika's actually still doing okay. Considering her um, humiliating defeat earlier. Uh, next turn. I'm pretty sure that in three more turns? Yeah, probably three more turns. I should have the money. Well, what do I get out of that? I'm going to say yes, because I like him. Oh, look at that. I actually connected this now. Now, as soon as these borders touch, which they might at some point, we're going to have this whole side of the world kind of locked down, which is awesome. So there you go. I kind of want to make a city here. Furs and Gems has ended. Caesar's playing against Ershurbanipal. I would like to make a city here to just connect this, get extra pearls, get a bunch of fish. But I feel like it might be kind of a stupid mistake. Oh, and also it would, it would give me two extra luxury resources, uh, which is going to be super useful as well. So I'm not really sure about that. How are we doing in... Okay, so we are now number two, land number one. Uh, population went up, basically everything went up except for um, our approval which still needs kind of a boost and our soldiers are now below average. So we should really try and get some more soldiers up in here. I wish I could get my horses back but I traded them a while ago I believe with... I don't remember who but I just traded them for a little bit of money. Which obviously I should not have done. Here we go, let's go with the aqueduct in Dublin. Oh, Genghis Khan has declared war on Boudicca, so she should probably be wiped out soon. Even though she made another city right there. It's still in a little bit of fog, but we can see that it's there. It's not really subtle, is it? Oh, she actually... Oh, this is actually a nice place to make a city. Even though I am pretty far away from that, so... Maybe that is not a good idea. Um, next should be a harbor. Let's have you connected. Avoid growth can go away. Let's set you to food focus because obviously you need a lot of growth. Jakarta can now not make the... Um... Wow, well, that... Okay. 12 extra shine. Let's just do that for one turn until I have enough money to purchase the university in Dublin after which we should be able to um, start working on the Oxford University and get some free um, science, which I like. Also, uh, that's a pretty pretty okay boost I'm getting from the uh, the World's Fair. I wish it was it was higher in my culture, but I have been kind of neglecting it. So that kind of blows. Iron from Attila ended dies to Attila ended. That's good. Blowing against Bismarck. Upcoming session. The World Religion. Uh, architecture or navigation. Let's see which one I really want. Scientific theory. I kind of need them both anyway, but. Scientific theory uh, I can actually get after I go with architecture and this actually requires a little bit more science So let's go with that Thanks for the free technology bitches. I appreciate it. Uh, now that we have enough money Let's purchase a university. There you go and then go start work on the Oxford University over here And we're also gonna have a great merchant soon from the looks of it like that We like that, okay Opera House, we still have some room there for music, even though I don't think I actually have any music. So, there's that. Uh, anything else that really requires my attention? Nope. 
Let's go. Clearing a forest. What? Why are people... Oh, I guess we're making farms here now, or... A mine, probably, over here. Wait, that's not a hill. Oh, probably another farm, then. We shall see. Still considering making a city around here, but... It just seems like kind of a dumb idea. Perhaps I should should go visit. Oh, Cardiff is being overtaken. Perhaps I should just make a city here. Get my hands on extra citrus, spices, stone, bananas, bunch of jungle. Pretty great. And we have discovered industrialization. Okay, next will be... Um, seaports are nice, but I like scientific theory because they will give me extra science. And a lot of it. Plus one science for every two citizens, so that is a huge boost. Let's go with that for now. Uh, Makassar can go make me a... Seeing as you're not growing super fast, actually a forge might be nice. Land units. And this is just production, so that would be better. Each source of iron worked by the city produces plus one production, so it's not a whole lot. And let's go with the workshop. Get some extra production, because that's always a good thing. What, what is pillaged? How is that pillaged? Doesn't look pillaged. Oh, there's a little blackness on that road, but it doesn't look super pillaged, so I don't really get the uh, the big idea here. We're going to have another musket man soon. Now, after scientific theory, I should really hurry towards, uh, what was it, rifling? I think, so I can actually make riflemen and just get some better units. Oh, wait, I have... Oh, that was a worker. Okay. What's the Songhai doing here, anyway? I don't trust these guys. They are pretty sketchy. Geneva and the Celts are no longer allies. That's good, because the Celts suck. They need to be destroyed, and they are being destroyed, probably by the, um... Who was it again? Was it Askia? I don't really remember, but someone is definitely destroying her shit. Do I have another boat? What's up with these uh, frigates over here, buddy? Are you trying to pull any tricks here, or...? Don't really understand it, but I don't like what I'm seeing here. As long as he's not number one in soldiers, and he's not. Number one in crop yield, land, and literacy again. I am a happy man. Uh, give me that musket man. Obviously we need it. I should probably build some more boats around Edinburgh, uh, Edinburgh or Dublin. To sort of have a naval presence around here, because I removed most of my boats. Because I felt like I didn't need them anymore. Caravels suck. Uh, I had a Gallius, which should be... What did I do with that? I didn't delete it, I think. I thought it was somewhere around here. Although I guess it may not be. Trireme. I got two Triremes. I got a Gallius on alert. Where are you at, Gallius? What? No, that's not supposed to happen. Gallius. Why is it? Oh, because uh, I was uh, keeping my eye on Rome. Trireme, where are you? Still exploring from the looks of it. That's okay. I can have them exploring for a little while longer, after which I will probably just delete them. Uh, Gallius, Caravel. Caravel's pretty okay, but they have no uh, ranged capabilities, so let's go with that for now. Get you back on research info. Sir, buy uh, make me a... Yeah, a workshop wouldn't be bad. But I don't know. Uh, let's go with another Gallius. Get some extra boats. Move stacked unit. Another musket man. Let's get you up in that citadel over there. So I have some extra units. It's all good. And we are making more. Although I really wish I could make frigates, but I don't have that technology yet. Which I don't really remember, but it's like a naval technology that I do not have yet. But I shall soon. I'm gonna go, um... I'm gonna actually finish the video after I make the Oxford University, so I have a couple more turns to go. Because getting that should get me some, um... Some extra literacy percentages. Sure, buddy. You got it. Also, we can have three more trade routes. So we should get, get that going. Friendship with Venice has run its course. We need to... Okay. Um, where is Cardiff still alive? This city doesn't look like it's being assaulted, but what the hell do I know? Okay, let's you explore more around that area because I really want to know if they get destroyed or not because I would like to actually make another city and transport it over here and actually get my hands on this stuff because it's actually not that far off from me because I'm like way over here. 
And if it makes a city over here, it should be nice. I also like the marble, and there's coal over here. From the looks of it, I don't have any access to coal. Oh, there's some here. Three coal. And then there's no other coal, really. So I might actually have to relocate to another place to get my hands on some coal. I guess going here wouldn't be all that bad. Although I would be very close to Askia and he could see that as kind of a threat. So perhaps that would be a sucky idea. And we got Salzburg over there. Antwerp, which was um, annexed by Venice. Kind of an aggressive move on their part because they're right next to Austria. I'm not really sure what the big idea is there, but sure. Go for it, I guess. Dublin is going to grow again, which is awesome because they're still quite small. As long as all my cities reach size 10, then I will be just fine. Yeah, dude, let's be best friends forever. Definitely. Oh, the World Congress is going to convene in one more turn. And I'm pretty sure that a lot of people are going to say, hey, let's not make Gabonism... Oh, he's neutral, but he likes the fact that I'm friends with Venice. Perhaps I should try becoming friends with him. After all... Hey, dude. Listen, you want to be friends? You do not want to be friends. Let's get some embassy. They already have an embassy, okay. Well... If you're ever looking for friends, keep me in mind, okay? I feel like we could get some good stuff going here. Thank you, that was a good trade. No contested borders, an embassy. They do believe I'm a bit of a warmonger and they do not like my proposal, which I shouldn't even have made in the first place. That was just a stupid mistake on my part. Um, what is gonna happen? Oh, they have three votes. I'm just going to say enact war religion, because I don't really care about banning this. Uh, commit. Yes. I suppose we'll just see what happens. Because uh, I don't think I actually have silk. I do not have silk, so that doesn't really concern me at all. Friendly trade route's been plundered. Really? You got it, buddy. I'm making 150 gold per turn. Yep, let's do it. Is that going to get me extra unhappiness, or is that a deal that was already ended? I guess it may have already been a deal that was going on. So... The Genghis Khan plundered the trade route. Budika established between... Phil's and Silk is now... Illegal to own. Let's go with, um... Each world runder... Oh, people would not like that. Let's go with something that people would actually like. Is there anything that people would be a fan of? Ban luxury, embargo... The Celts. Mongolia would be grateful, the Celts would be angry. So that doesn't really matter. Let's go with that. It's a pretty safe thing to do, I guess. Whoa, look at that. Zurich actually overtook that. How is Car- oh, Cardiff is healing, so I guess that war has kind of come to an end. And in one more turn, we are going to have the Oxford University. So let's hope that someone doesn't steal it from me, because I really, really want it. You know, that could really be important to me. Yeah, okay. I- you know what? I'm just, I'm just gonna make as many friends as I can at this point. So, I'm gonna say yes. Let's hope he's not friends with Caesar or anything, because... Then we would be in trouble. We fought together against a common uh, foe. Probably Budika then. So they like me, they like me, they like me, and then... Aski kinda likes me, but he also kinda doesn't like me. Rome has adopted the order ideology. Oh man, okay. Which one am I gonna pick? This one's really close, so I'm not gonna go with that one. Industrialization, already have it. Rifling is an option, military science. Uh, or navigation, which is not that big. So let's go with rifling. So we can actually get some upgrades to our musket men. And let's get a caravel. No, let's not get a caravel. Let's get a, um, a rifleman going here. Let's give you an upgrade, buddy. I don't want to upgrade to a lancer because that's kind of lunacy. Uh, you... You can get an upgrade, so let's go with it. I do have the money to support it, so why the hell not? And let's see how I end up on the uh, 
Sh schmoozing. Okay. Um, demographics. Let's see. We are now... In terms of soldiers, we are above average again. That's good. We are growing, which is uh, something that I like to see. And then also, we're getting very close to overtaking... Oh my god, look at that. Nine. Boudica has, has some of the, the worst uh, statistics I've ever seen. And the only thing that I suck in right now is literacy. But hopefully we can kind of correct that soon. As long as we get some more galleuses and uh, patrol the ocean. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... What the fuck, Rome? No, they're finally invading. Something that was supposed... To, they made it on snow. They are a bunch of fucking idiots, but okay. Um, I guess we'll deal with that later on. Uh, I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll be back soon with more Civilization as the game is drawing further and further uh, towards the end. So I guess we'll see what happens. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll uh, talk to you in the next part.